guys, what is going on? Chandler with the Vert Gaming here, and today I'm going to be playing some Destiny on uh, the map uh, Twilight Gap. Um, in the end, I go Relentless. It was I started off a little bit rusty. I haven't played Destiny in some time, but I did manage to get a 1,000-yard uh, stare with the short gaze scope out of a, uh, a legendary engram. And um, yeah, also affecting me. My hands were very cold while I was recording this. Um, it's pretty, it's gotten pretty cold down here in Florida, and so, when I was, I was outside earlier, and, and my hands are just cold, and, and so they clammed up on the controller, and I just, it just didn't feel good, but, um, I did manage to pull it together towards the end of the video. Um, but the, 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 the uh, topic I wanted to discuss today was, um, new DLC for Destiny, uh, 2016. Now, we've already speculated that, um, a new game will be coming out at the end of this year, um, Destiny 2, um, but we do not know, like, what that will entail in the live, and, and D just said the live team has been working on stuff for this year, and so they said at the beginning of 2016, we will get a small release, and then towards the middle of the year, we will get the biggest content release since The Taken King, so I assume that means probably another House of Wolves size DLC, and this is from the live team, so it will be free. They also said there will be a change to the directory, which could mean a new planet. That would be really crazy um, if it just came from the live team. But that's this is all speculation at this point, um, other than what uh, Bungie has said legitimately. So yeah, it'd be pretty cool if we did end up getting a new planet. What do you guys think, though? Do you think that we'll end up getting um, maybe a new planet since the change to the directory line? Or maybe... Um, Maybe I don't know, I don't even know what they could add to this game uh, that would that it's it's very loose at this point and Bungie's weekly update will come out next week uh, to, uh, on the twenty first so that's the that's the next news that we're gonna hear of the game so yeah if you were wondering what uh, what art I'm using I'm using the Mita and the thousand yard stare with a short gaze scope um, to get the most aim assist possible and uh, look at look how this guy gets me. I mean, who puts burn on their knife? Other than that guy, obviously. But, yeah, so I got a uh, thousand yard uh, aim assist with the most aim assist possible with the short gaze and some other perk. I forgot what it's called. And on that topic, what do you guys think they should do about the sniping in this game? Because I know it's a, it's been a hot topic on the Bungie forums recently. People are calling snipers for nerfs. People are saying, no, no, keep them the same. They're fine. Don't just run out into sniper lanes like an idiot. And this all seems to be revolving around the um, the trials aspect of the game. Because in normal Crucible, I don't really get killed by snipers that much. But in trials, where it's, a, where it's tight 3v3, um, you end up getting killed by snipers a ton. Um, and the only tip I could really give you for not getting killed by snipers a ton in trials is to just stay... Stay close to cover, and whenever you're running around a corner, make sure you slide. There's also a trick you can do where um, if you use an emote, you can kind of peek that corner and make sure that the person isn't hard scoping down the lane. But um, what should be done about snipers, I'm not really sure. A lot of people are asking to do uh, what Halo does, in, uh, where you, uh, you have to de-scope every time you get shot. But I can't really see that working here because... The way they have this game designed is, uh, and how did I not get this guy, by the way? He kills me from behind. I was about to go on a three-piece, but he kills me from behind. I don't know how I didn't get him. But, yeah, there, people are asking for D-scope whenever you get shot, which would be, I think it would work, but not, I, the way the way it works in Halo, um, or the, at least the past Halos, is you have to click to go a to aim in. I know in the most recent one, I don't think you have to, to click to aim in. You just kind of left trigger and you get on the sights. And the way that would, I think that works well for a click, if you're going to click to get aimed on the sights, but I'm not sure if that would work for holding the trigger to aim down the sights. Uh, I have played the most recent Halo game, and I tried sniping once. It was pretty easy, um, but it... But it it's definitely different than Destiny sniping, but yeah, that could be a really good addition if they maybe tried out. Um, and I've been getting killed by Ace of Spades a lot. Is that kind of good? I heard it was super hard to get and just super underwhelming, so I never really went after it. But if it's really good, then I might. And check out this crazy no scope I get on this guy. Um, 
which is you know I'd be pro I'd be pretty upset if I got a no scope, if I got no scoped like that from close range with a sniper, um, especially in trials where where everything is really serious and everything counts very much. Um, but yeah, right there, it just I don't know sniping's too close range in this game. It feels almost it feels cheap almost. Like when I snipe in trials, I don't really feel good about it. I I mean I do it. Because it is the meta right now. It is what really works. But it, it, not, I don't necessarily feel proud of myself for, for taking cheap shots and just hard scoping around a corner. But again, what do you guys think should be done about snipers? Um, leave, your, leave your suggestions in the comments below. And also, a lot of people have been complaining about Mita recently. About how it's way too OP and, and like it's crazy aim assist and stuff. Well, the Mita might have high aim assist. Um... But it's been the same since year one. I don't understand all these nerf posts and these and these people like, oh, it's just way too OP. And somebody explained to me how I didn't grab the heavy here. But people, you know, on the Destiny forums, people are like, oh, well, it's a four-shot kill to the head. And it's, it's the same as it's always been. There's no, nothing's changed about it. It is literally the most balanced weapon in Destiny. There is no better balanced weapon in Destiny right now. Um... If you don't land your headshots, it's really hard to get a kill with it, because it only does 38 body damage. And on the note of primaries with aim assist, the hard light has 100, and you don't see many people running around with that gun. Um, is it as lethal as the Mita? Eh, a little bit. But <laughs> if you really, if you really, if you know how to use it, yes, it can be very lethal. But if you don't know how to use it, it, it it's kind of a crappy gun. But yeah, stop the Mita nerf post, because this gun doesn't need a nerf. It's been the best... I've used it since year one. I really liked it in year one. Why Why does it need a nerf now? What, what has the gun done in recent memory that has required it for a nerf? Um, and speaking of things that got nerfs, um, even though Mita hasn't yet, but probably will get a nerf because of all the outcries and Bungie just has to listen to its uh, little kids. Um, speaking of things... That got a nerf that probably shouldn't have. Acleophage Symbiote. Uh, the four second nerf, I think, is just crazy. Um, you're, you're already like one fourth of the way through the super by the end of the animation, which is just insane to me. You barely have any time to find your targets. Uh, it's, it's, it's got nerfed way, way into the ground, and I don't think that's right. In fact, you know what gun does need a nerf? I'm not one to normally call for nerfs, but you know what does need a nerf if they're gonna nerf anything? Um, the last word, they, they, the recent buff to hand cannons has given it some unneeded range that I don't think was intended for the gun. Um, I think they had it just right when 2.0 just had come out. Um, but the recent range buff they gave it is, is really, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. The recent range buff, uh, to hand cannons in general. And then, uh, yeah, and that, look at that fail of a stick. I just got pushed and so... I totally missed the nade right there, but I did end up getting the kill. But anyway, guys, uh, back to the start of this video. What do you guys think will be coming out for DLC in Destiny to in, in Destiny 2016? And do you think they will release a new game at the end of the year? And do you think that maybe, just maybe, they will X off the previous console generation finally? Because in my opinion, that is what's really holding this game back. Um, but yeah. So uh, leave, your, leave your thoughts in the comments below, but that's it for me, guys. I will catch you next time. If you enjoyed the video, please like, uh, favorite, and subscribe, and maybe share the video with your friends if you think they might enjoy the video. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. I'll catch you next time.